Trachoma is a devastating disease. Trachoma is a disease of poverty. So the trachoma affects the most impoverished of the poor even. The International Trachoma Initiative will be turning 20. And it's time to look back and reflect on the enormous progress. The achievement in this first 20 years has been notably the proof of the fact that blinding and trachoma can be eliminated or eradicated from the entire world. It really looks as if we will achieve our goal and we will consign this miserable disease to the uh, garbage of history. I think 20 years ago, no one could have imagined we would be here today. No one. How did we get there? In part, it was due to people like Dr. Joe Cook, who helped develop the safe strategy that the components of surgery and drug treatment and facial cleaning and environmental cleanliness, put those elements together and stay the course, things will change. Developing that strategy was an absolutely seminal contribution. One of the things that is most amazing for me is that the Pfizer donation has catalyzed the implementation of the program, empowering the countries themselves and then taking on this cascade training involving tens of thousands of volunteers reaching 100 million individuals. It's absolutely fantastic. I think that's what we'll see more of in global health, that people are seeing the big picture. That, I mean, this is such an important development in global health, getting the corporations involved. We didn't see 30 years ago much of what was going to happen in global health. And one of the things we certainly didn't see, corporations actually becoming strong foundations in global health. The work with ITI in um, eliminating blinding trachoma in countries like Malawi is something that we value. Uh, the partnership is something that we think is having a real impact. From the very inception of this, it has really been owned by Malawians and making sure that we deal with trachoma as a public health problem. I think that the scale and magnitude of the problem of trachoma is really extraordinary. You see what it takes to come together to eliminate this disease, and it is extraordinary. It is a logistical feat um, of an order of magnitude that I have rarely seen. It's an amazing experience to see this little pink pill make its way through the manufacturing process all the way out to literally the end of the road. When you go see the program, that's where the magic happens. It's truly magical to be able to see how it all comes together. My name is Ruth Cheza. I have three sisters, a mom and dad. Yeah, I tell others about hygiene and how the disease of trachoma is dangerous. I tell them what I learned at school about trachoma. What a privilege it is to be in this golden age in public health, 20 years into the program. We had the Minister of Health of Malawi and senior people from a number of organizations that between them can mobilize millions of dollars of implementation funds and hundreds of millions of dollars of donated drug. That is juxtaposed with the real heroes in the villages like Little Ruth, Standard 8, leaving primary school, she's already animated, she's already dynamic before she even goes to the secondary school. She's teaching her peers at school. She's actually leading the peers in their hygiene promotion, in addition to training her own parents and the elders in her village. And the combination of the Minister of Health and then the kids in the village, it's such a privilege to be able to work with all of these cadres of people delivering these programs.